So this is the first time I'm making a video like this. It's an everyday carry video. Basically what it means is what I would generally work with every day, what would be in my bag every day. When you hear EDC, what comes to your mind? That's what comes to my mind. So I have a very functional set of things I take with me every day. And in this video, I'll be showing it to you, explaining to you why I have these things with me. And probably have fun along it. All right, let's go. So the very first thing I would like to show you is the bag where I put all of this. Now, this is the Bravide bag. And this video is not sponsored by Bravide, but I really love this bag because it's functional. I'll explain. This bag packs everything I need for it on the go in a very compact and comfortable way. The bag itself, I think it's made up of like this whole foamy cushion texture that keeps all your gadgets and important things safe. It's very important that if you're carrying a lot of gadgets and you're walking around, you need something to protect all of them, save all you, that scratch and that money. And that's why I really, really like the Be Right and I've been using it for about, about three months now. So shout out to Be Right for doing this amazing bag. And I would definitely recommend this. If you want to get one, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get yours for. There's a smaller size. This is the bigger one. And you can get the smaller one if your things are not that much. But the next thing I want to show you is this. It is called an AirPod. A lot of people really look down on these guys because they feel it doesn't make any sense. Just as much as you get something really good to carry all your gadgets and tech you take every day, you need something to track them. And the AirTag has been working wonderfully for me. I use it to track all of my gadgets. I have them in most of my bags. And when I'm also traveling, I put them in my luggage. I get real-time information to know where all of these things are and it just makes much very 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 good sense for you to have one in your arsenal. Me alone, I have up to like four or five of these guys scattered everywhere and at every point in time with my phone, I can always track them. And speaking about phone, it brings me to the daily driver I use. Let me just get this off. I currently use two daily drivers. One is the Google Pixel 7a while the other is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now I'm using these two bad guys because I want to have both taste of both ecosystem in as purest form as possible. Google, obviously they're the owners of Android, so their UI is one of the best because they're building from the ground up. While the Apple ecosystem and iOS OS gives me the ability to experience both worlds, help you decide which phone might give be a better experience for you based on my own experience. And that's why I currently use them. Though I use my 13 Pro Max more because it just has more life. It has longer battery, better camera than the Google 7A. But I use the Pixel 7A for a lot of my work activities because it's just so intuitive and I use a lot of Google apps to work. So the 7A does a lot of work for me. But these two guys are the phones I carry every time. Let me show you what's next. So as a full-time creator and a product designer, you never can know when you need to film something or say something or create a video or a reel. Speaking about reels, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok and YouTube, you should do that now. I'll leave the links in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I take my audio very seriously and I have different audio solutions for different events. Currently right now, the audio I'm using because I am outside is the DJI Wireless Mic 2. It's a beautiful microphone and it has so many functionalities. You can connect it directly to your phone, Android or iOS. You can connect it directly to the DSLR, which is what I'm using now. And you can also record here directly, which serves as like a backup in case that one is not working. So I always go around with this if I'm leaving the studio, just in case I have to film something, record a soundtrack. You never can tell when all of this will come in handy. Speaking of things coming in handy, this is a one terabyte SSD by Scandix. You should get this if you're really thinking of taking content creation serious, if you're really thinking of managing your storage. This has been super, super reliable and a small compact. And because it is SSD, it works really, really fast. You can save backup files. If I go to my friend's place and I need to take some files or copy some files, I know I won't run out of storage, at least at that point. So I carry this with me. Now, will this solve all your storage issues? I doubt it. But what this does for you, it gives you a moving one terabyte on the go. So in the studio, I have a five terabyte hitch hard disk drive that I use to back up things from this. And hopefully I'm looking to expand that into either 
probably like a 10 terabyte or so just to back up all the work I'm doing. And when I'm working, I trust nothing else better than my MacBook Pro M1. I've been using this for a while and it has given me no trouble. I've had this, I've had the, this is the 14, this is the 13 or the 14 inch. I've had the 16 inch, though the 16 inch battery and performance are almost the same with this. I really prefer taking this out of the studio because it's just really compact. It doesn't put so much weight on you. It fits perfectly well inside my Brave Ride bag. And it does all I need to do. I'm editing this video on it and I don't notice any lag. The performance remains optimal, plugged in or not. So if you're looking for a reliable laptop, I would suggest the M1 Pro. But if you have some more money to spend, you can then decide looking at either the M2 Pro or if you want something like that, you can look at the M2 Air. All of these are wonderful laptops. And I'm speaking only about MacBook laptops now because that is what I use as my daily driver. Though they are wonderful, wonderful Windows and Dell and other laptops you can use to get your game optimized and keep everything stable. This guy here is like a Sony tripod. I got it when I got the Sony ZB E10, which is what I'm shooting on with a Sigma 16 mm lens and i basically use this when i go vlogging it helps me to really give me that stability and flexibility when i'm vlogging as opposed to holding the camera with my hand and i can't really extend another good use for this is you can just set it up and it films wonderful wonderful videos for you for your shots you'll never miss anything with this it's a very very handy tool i don't use it as much like i said only when i usually go vlogging i want to get maybe table shots but it comes in very very handy almost as handy as the master key sorry the mx master 3 this is my trusted mouse i've always been a mouse guy i don't know how to design from my product design career i've been designing for over seven years professionally as a product designer and right from day one i started using the mouse so i am super super comfortable with it though what i love about this mouse is it gives you the ability to customize it. Mine is a little bit bruised and battered now because I've used it for a while. But it gives you the ability to customize it, assign keys to it. You can assign specific buttons to it when you're editing in both Premiere Pro or Final Cut or DaVinci. You can assign hot keys to it and this will help speed up your workflow. So if you're just looking for a reliable mouse that you will need to change in like the next one to three years, I really suggest the MX Master 3. They cost right, roughly about $100. And if you're looking for like a keyboard for that also, I would suggest the MX keys. They, they come as a pair and you can get the one specifically for either Mac or the general use. I would leave link to all of this in the description. So if you want to get them, you can use the links as using those links to also support the channel and you help us grow. Thanks for liking and subscribing. One new thing I added to my arsenal is this guy over here. It's the Insta360 X3. I really, really love this camera because of the versatility of it. Sometimes I've used this camera to film a whole video and it comes in super, super handy. It costs a little bit. The package I got cost me a little bit, about a thousand dollars each. But trust me, it has been worth every money I spent on it. So I don't think this video should go longer than that. If you're being honest, oh yeah, one other thing I forgot to mention, my keys. I always carry my keys with me. This is the first time I'm doing this video, so I really love if you guys support this video, like, subscribe to the channel, as we have amazing things coming out for you. Don't forget, if you like to see more of these videos, you can click any of these cards here. You can watch a day in my life, or you can watch my skydiving experience where I almost lost my life. Like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.